As of the 1st of January 2015, the reformed European Common Fisheries Policy gradually requires all fishing boats to land virtually all the catches of the most important species of fish. Under EU regulations, these catches count against the fishermen's quota and should be fully documented and accounted for. But when it comes to implementing the legislation, governments are dragging their feet. This policy is not being complied with, it's not being enforced, and there are no real initiatives to ensure that the policy will work. We all have an interest in documenting that we actually count all the fish we take. And one of the ways to do that, or perhaps rather the way to do that, is by using remote electronic monitoring, REM. <laughs> REM, or remote electronic monitoring, is an onboard system that records details of all fishing activity. Sensors on the hydraulic and winch systems monitor gear usage to indicate fishing activity. Cameras in key positions above and below deck record the processing and discard activity. And GPS logs the boat's position and movements. All the data is recorded on a central hard drive. All the information is time-locked to record a comprehensive log of each trip. The system has been trialled on a number of European boats and has proved highly effective in cutting down the number of fish being discarded by encouraging skippers to fish more selectively. What the camera system can do for the fish dog is that the fishermen will think more about the way of fishing. So to make a more um, clean fishing. Last year we were around 2% of discard in our fishing on, on the cod fish, so, so that's nothing. The argument for REM is strong. It's reliable, comprehensive and extremely cost effective. To monitor all Europe's fishing boats over 10 metres long with REM would cost around 69 million euros. That's less than 1% of the revenue of Europe's fishing fleet for a year, at a cost of less than 4,000 euros per boat. For that, we get greater coverage than traditional monitoring systems and at a lower cost. I believe REM uh, is the solution. It's easy to use, it's very reliable on a technical level. What we need now with a new policy is moving from the trial into the permanent management. And this is up to the member states to ensure that this happens.